Hey everyone, what's up? It's Amber Bro here, and I am going to show you guys how to make a pretty cool little mini game. Let me turn down the volume a lot this time because my last episode was a little bit loud. And I apologize. All right, so this is a pretty cool little mini game. It is a um, kind of, I guess, shoot your opponents kind of thing, or shoot the targets rather. So here we go. This is what it's going to look like. You you have to shoot all the targets within the time limit, and if you don't, you lose. Uh, and if you do, you can win a prize or however else you want to set it up. The collision is a tiny bit wonky. Uh, that's simply because the way RPG Maker handles X and Y positions. Alrighty, yay, so we won. Uh, just in the nick of time, too. That timer was zero. So I'll show you what happens when the timer reaches zero. Um, and whatnot, and I will show you how to set it all up. It's going to look a little bit confusing at first, but you will get the hang of it. It's not that hard. You can set this up within about 30 minutes. Let the timer run out here. Oh no, we lost. Oh well. Alright, so. So then, uh, first thing you want to do is you want to make a list of your enemies. And you want to make, at the very first page, you want to check the switch. You want to, you want to make all these different switches here. For now, just do the exact setup. Make all the switches that you see here. Game start, fire, bat, slow one, death, meaning being defeated and whatnot. Everything you should see here, pause the screen so you can copy them all. Okay, once you've done that, uh, we are going to do... We're going to check the switch and we're going to select Game Start. And then we're going to select the Walking, Direction Fix, and Throw. Or Through, sorry. We're going to name it Bat Slow 1. We're going to give them the back graphic. Next, we're going to create a new page, um, new event page, with a switch Bat Slow 1 Defeated on. As you can see here. Now... Back on the first page, you'll see that I have a custom move route. All the bat does is move right six times and move left six times. Whenever you're setting a move route, you want to make absolutely sure that no matter how sporadic and crazy it is, he always ends up back at his initial starting point. Otherwise, you're going to run into issues. So now, we are going to select his speed to be slower, uh, slightly, two times slower, because he's a slow enemy. And we're going to set the frequency to highest. This is very important. Click OK and copy him. Just name him Bat Slow 2, and he should have the exact same setup except for. I just got a subscriber. Awesome. Anyway, uh, except for this right here. This should be Bat 2, as you can see. Make sure that you don't leave the same switches on. The only thing that needs to change is the Bat 2, or the second copy of the enemy. This is a Bat Medium, so we're going to change his move speed to normal. But keep, we're going to keep the move route the same. Make sure Again, make sure you change this. So bat medium defeated. Do the same thing with this one. And I'm pretty sure you're seeing the pattern here. Slimes, they move differently. But remember, you, you can set your move route for each and every single one of them if you want to. Set the speed depending on how fast you want the enemy to be. And this guy, he moves right, left, just like the bat. But then he moves upper right, upper left, and has this kind of sporadic pattern. Again, very, very, I, I'm sorry if this is getting annoying, but I have to say this again. Very important that you make sure that the enemy that you are currently editing, uh, you're using the same switch for that enemy. We're going to do the same thing for all these other enemies here. And once, you've, once you're done setting up your enemies, we're going to set up this cannon looking thing, which is actually just a wagon. It's the closest thing I can find to a cannon. And we're going to have, have a little question here. Start minigame, we're going to say yes, and you know, and when yes, you're going to set the event location of bat 1 to the top, right here. Set the event location of bat 2, right right below it. Bat, bat the medium one, right below that one. And of course, the second medium one, right below that one. And then you're going to do the exact same locations for the next four, the slimes and the bosses. Then you're gonna turn the control. Then you're gonna turn the switch game start on, and you're gonna do a control timer. You're gonna start the timer as zero minutes twenty seconds, or whatever time limit you want. Now on the second tab, we're uh, it's gonna have the same graphic direction fix as well. By the way, you make sure you check direction fix. On the second tab, you're gonna have the switch game start on. So if game start is on, we're gonna have a conditional branch to check and see if the switch fire is off, and if it is. We're going to set the, the fireball event. We're going to make a fireball event, by the way, later. So if you haven't done that, do so already. 
we're gonna set the fireball event here, right in front of the cannon. Next, we're going to play a sound effect, the play fire. And then we're going to do control switches. We're gonna turn fire on. That's all that that's all for the cannon. Now for the fireball, this might look very confusing, but believe me, it's a lot easier than you think. So for first so the first time in any of my tutorials, I think, or I've done this before maybe, but we're gonna be using the loop command. As you can see, you have a loop and it's, you have a repeat above. So we're gonna start a loop, and in the loop, we're gonna we're gonna set move route. This event, move up one, skip if cannot move, wait for completion. On the fireball event, you want to set his frequency to highest and his speed to four times faster. Now you're gonna you're gonna select all the boxes here: stepping, direction fix, walking, throw, or through, or whatever. Now we're just gonna have a comment line here. That's to kind of separate what we need to do. This looks confusing, but I'll go over it with you. So you're gonna need a list of these. You're just gonna need the uh, list of these variables: enemy X, enemy Y, fireball X, and fireball Y. That's the only variables that you're gonna need. So you're gonna you're, what you're gonna do is you're going to set enemy X equal to bat one bat slow ones map X by going to game data and selecting it from there. Do the same thing with Y except for set it to map Y instead of map X for the bat one. And then set the fireball um, X equal to the map X of the fireball. And do the same thing with the Y position. Set the fireball Y equal to fireballs map Y. Now we're going to do a conditional branch to check and see if enemy X is equal to fireball X. And in inside of that one we're going to do another conditional branch to check and see if enemy Y is equal to fireball Y. And if it is we're going to turn the bat defeated on, or the first bat, bat slow, slow bat defeated one on. As you can see, oops. <laughs> As you can see, we're going to turn the switch on though, I apologize, I had a little error. Then we're going to show an animation on the on the bat, the, the bat that we're that we're targeting now, bat slow one. And it's going to be fire one, two, or whatever animation if you created one. Make sure you wait for completion, and then turn fire off. Then we're going to set the event location of the slow bat here. And once you're, once you're done, you're going to, you're going to select, you're going to click the comment here, you're going to hold shift, and you're going to click all the way down. To right above the next comment line. Well, you won't, you won't, you won't have this, but you're gonna copy this and you're gonna paste it. So you have the exact same setup here, only this time instead of setting the X and Y positions to the first bat, you're gonna do the second bat, and you're gonna keep repeating this pattern um, all the way until you get to your final enemy. You may hear the rooster crowing. <laughs> anyway, so as you can see, this is enemy two. And the animation is also shown on the um, second bat, and we're turning the second bat's defeated trigger on, and changing his location and everything. Make sure you change what is done, but it should be the exact same setup, just changing the enemies um, and whatnot. You should get this uh, and copy everything until you've gotten it. Now, at the very bottom, after you've done all your enemies, we're going to check and see if Fireball's or the Y position is equal to zero, and if it is, we are going to turn fire off. And then we're going to do a break loop outside of the conditional branch. Make sure the break loop is not in the conditional branch. Although I suppose it wouldn't really matter. Actually, it would, so don't do that. So yeah, make sure you do a break loop at the very end. And we're done with the fireball event. Finally, we're going to need a conditional branch, and we're, we are going to check if all of the switches are on. So we're going to do a conditional branch to check if the first bat's defeated, second bat's defeated, third bat's defeated, etc. And if all of them are defeated, you say a message saying you won, and you can give an item, some money, or whatever. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn a batch of switches off. So we're going to do control switches. Instead of single, we're going to select a range. Now, your your numbers might be different if you already have switches, but mine are 1 through 10. All the... All the Blah. All the switches that we use during this event here are going to be turned off at the same time. Mine were 1 through 10 as you can see here, so my range is 1 through 10. We're going to select off. That's going to turn off all the switches. Then we're going to do timer stop. At the bottom of all this, after all the conditional branches, we're going to check and see if the timer is less than or equal to, by using a conditional branch, if the timer is less than or equal to 0 minutes and 0 seconds. And if it is, you can say a message that says, time up, you lose, 
and turn, I don't know why I did that, turn all the switches off again and control timer to stop. Once you're done that, you are now finished with the event and you can enjoy yourself a very fun little mini game um, for your players to have some fun with. As you can see, we can blow up some enemies here. And some enemies are actually very tricky to hit, like the slime. Boom. Let's try to hit him. Oh, it's so hard to time it. Huh. God, I'm gonna get you. Slime! Three. Yes! Got him! Right on. Oh, excuse me. Right on time. Got him. Alright. Awesome. So there you go. I hope this helped you guys. I hope you found this fun, and I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you want to support me on Patreon, that'd be cool. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.